Hi, I'm children's book author Deborah Deason, and I'm really happy to be doing this virtual story time for McLean and Aiken Books. I'm sorry we can't be together in person, but we can still be together through stories. And I have one to share with you today. It's called The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. But before I read the story, I have two things I wanted to tell you about. The first is that we would love to see your pout pout fish art. So check the comments about how you can um, share some of your pout pout fish art with us. And if you're a young person, make sure you have your parents permission first, but we would love to see your drawings, your paintings, um, your ideas. And by way of example, if you can't think of something to draw, you might make a picture of something that you'd like to see Mr. Fish and his friends do. And I thought I would share with you that last year, in the spring, I got some pictures from a school, a class of students, and they included some things that the students thought Mr. Fish could do. And one of them was, I think Mr. Fish and his friends are going to go to the Golden Gate Bridge. And guess what happened just a couple of months later? Mr. Fish went to the Golden Gate Bridge. So I can't guarantee your idea will actually come to pass, especially if you say Mr. Fish and his friends might go to Mars. That might not happen. Um, but you can have fun with your drawing and think of lots of ideas and share them through your pictures. And we'd love to see it. The second thing is, before I get started on the book I'm going to read, I have a little quiz because I know some of you have read almost all or maybe even all of the Pow Pow Fish books. And so I thought I would take a little phrase from each book and see if you can recognize which book it's from. I went with the eight um, full length stories. There are also some shorter stories and some um, easy readers and things. Um, but I just went with the eight um, full length stories. So the first phrase, you can see if you know which book it's from, is kaleidoscope of mope. I'm just picking some phrases and not even full sentences, but something that you can see if you know where it came from. The second one is a bit of bling zing. You can think if you recognize where that one came from. The next one, five or six orange socks. We also have flub, flub troubles. Next, a whirl of wriggly worms. Do you know which book that's from? A briny good diner. An upstanding crowd. and a big, big mess. So at the end, after I read you uh, The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean, I'll share with you which books those are from. Now I'm gonna move the big Mr. Fish down so he can listen to the story along with you. And this book is called The Pout Pout Fish Clean, Cleans Up the Ocean by Deborah Deason, that's me. Pictures by Dan Hanna. Dan Hanna brings the characters to life in these books. His art is amazing. And you may not be able to see in this video because the pictures are gonna be kind of small for you, but he adds um, just fun and interesting, amazing detail to the drawings. So you'll wanna spend some time with this book sometime and see what you can find. The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean by Deborah Deason, pictures by Dan Hanna. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw a big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell. So he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving, and I don't know what to do. 
but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer, and she gathered as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of, they both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around the mothers gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All as one, said Mrs. Squid, as she swished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the kneeling, nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision. But which one would they make? A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed. Positively, yes and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? And then Mr. Fish and his friends and Dan Hanna and I have some suggestions about how all of us can work together to make the oceans a cleaner place and keep the planet healthy. And I hope you will join us too. Now for the answers to the quiz. The first phrase I picked out was kaleidoscope of moat. And that is from the first Pout Pout Fish book, The Pout Pout Fish. I also picked out the phrase, a bit of bling zing. And some of you may recognize that from the not very merry Pout Pout Fish. How about this one? Five or six orange socks. That phrase comes in the Pout Pout Fish and the can't sleep blues. Flub, flub, troubles. You might recognize that phrase if you dread the pout, pout fish goes to school. How about a whirl of wriggly worms? That phrase shows up in the pout, pout fish 
in the big, big dark. We also have this phrase, a briny good diner. That phrase shows up in the pout pout fish far, far from home. An upstanding crowd. You'll find that phrase in the pout pout fish and the bully bully shark. And last but not least, a big, big mess, which you'll recognize as from the pout pout fish cleans up the ocean. I want to thank you for sharing your time with me and I want to encourage you to keep reading lots of stories and sharing them with other people. And we'll all get through this together. Keep reading and I'll read to you again very soon.